right, all right. Make we get down to business. Welcome to Salon for All, Voice for All Network Television. I am your host, Khadija Tijan Nabi. As you see, I've been the actually the celebrates because one of the honorable, um, honorable Abubakar for the Sela celebrates another milestone today. So I wish him well with his wife and the entire family. All that you on behalf of Salon for All, Voice for All Network Television. All that you wish for yourself, sir. May it come to passing. Having said that, so I've been just one. Uh, I just choose that song. They usually that me salon tune. They I can choose. But while I did do me exercise this morning, I done there been listen to, so it kind of like stick to the head. So I said I just share the the um, how you call it with him. Having said that, once again on the community announcement, salon for all extend warm wishes to Honorable Abu Bakar Sila. As you celebrate another milestone, we ask the Almighty to protect you, guide you, and elevate you. Thank you for all your service when it comes to our beloved Mama Salon. So, with that said, um, as I mean, like as the flyer say, we get um, two different topics. One of which, when an emergency topic will come, we really the actual topic was with the lawyers. Then we will sit on today, which we get two lawyers. Then we will join with shortly for the next few minutes or let's say towards an hour then go we'll join we and also one of civil society activists but prior to that um as in i see some of you have been gets the um opportunity for listening to an audio we been a soft face um the whatsapp forum we um now we been do that audio they haven't said that i like for now i would like for play and post for in a name before um address within our address um make a come back to in a, in a minute in a one second guys i'll put the volume for mm. greetings fellow sarah linian um today in june 3rd 2020 this nakadija tijan nabi from salon for all voice for all network television I just want to bring this to the attention of Sierra Unions, and we will continue for use with voice for now we educate Sierra Unions of the the politicians them or the one they way there say then get any hope for take any position sensitive position then as Sierra Leone. The first pathway they begin with first now they conduct and then behavior towards them fellow Sierra Leone, especially when they not get it to that point of holding um sensitive position but then they aspire to hold sensitive position the reason why i bring this again i am a sierra leonean um by default by god in wish and one thing i'm proud of and waiting ever they do at the doom with um good intention and with the fairness of god when I die, Islam say, they need to go ask you if you're not apc slppc for c then they ask you what are you god who's the way you deserve you understand having said that anything we do not this world i can continue for science in our vanity and any benefits with the only thing we will benefit with now with goodness and the sincerity behind what it would do you understand and we'll get the love for we company irrespective of the political affiliation the tribe the region the section whatever you want call them um i know say people that can use their mouth against um say we platform then get all kind words them within they say oh anti-government oh now this part, political party Khadija day or whatever the case may be all that is irrelevant the reason being is that many a time we always can shy away from the truth when they see the truth and most of and this it goes beyond any political line because there are a lot of people with the inside the slpp2 where of course they're not going to condole and they're not be happy with certain things the way they happen you understand slpp men and the current administration having said that we don't get this bad name oh this and that now one set of people they're no more like this this platform speak for itself whether you ngc apc c4c and they always give them uh, or, or or slpp and they always give the fear chance to everybody the person where I want to address today now, Mr. Emmanuel Ali, we say in the former secretary of um, the Sierra Leone People's Party, former um, secretary general for the Sierra Leone People's Party, North America, and currently leading aspirant, um, party conference chairman, SLPP, North America. Um, the reason being, um, we go back to as early as late as August 12, 2019. 
like I say, I can always make him fear for everybody. So I called this man, even then I turned at that time, say he on vacation, which I didn't know. When I call, I say, Mr. Emmanuel, I want to bring you come as one of my panelists then, for now we'll get a balanced um, debate where you will represent the Sierra Leone People's Party. And to be sincere, the way of this man be the talk on social media, I've been getting high respect for him. The reason being, I do, I do not look at his political affiliation. I look at him as a Saran Union. We happen to be um, um, a representative of for the Saran Union People's Party. So I look and say, this could be a good person who will come in and try to talk and educate we maybe certain things that we don't know about the Saran Union People's Party. So having said that, so it's let me say then I turn at that time when it come back, it will make sure say reach out to me. Um, for now we go f um, further. In our reach out, I do several calls where we talk, we talk fine. We even set a date, I get this, I still get the evidence where he inbox me all in credentials them or entitle them, including the picture where he wants to use for the um the then debate. When it comes to come now, you know, respond, no nothing, which is very unprofessional. Having said that, um, tomorrow, this Friday, I decide to say, okay, I did bring um, um, two sets of individual them where it be say one will be a lawyer. For now, we talk about the ongoing things the way they go on a salon. And so when I call this man, the one from the other, um, the, when a lawyer, now he say, say hey, he say, he go fine for now. I also get another person where he be say, go represent the Sierra People's Party. Now I say, yes, I say that not too. Now I even call this man in name, Mr. Emmanuel. Now I say, okay, I say, I will call him. I say, but I don't get a history with him in the past where he don't give me assurance and so on and so forth. But he not show up. I say, but well, yet still, I will still go ahead and try. I take me, take out for myself and call him. First, he, he, he say, oh, who that this? I say, Mr. Emmanuel, me and you a friend on Facebook. You know who is talking, you know who that it be. I say, okay, no, just say maybe you just pick up the phone, you know, check. I say, but I, it, this is Khadija, and again, I say in the past, you don't, you don't, I be don't invite you, you know, show up. So I hope so you go show Friday. Say, okay, it begin now, they, I will call and say, interrogate me, whose political party will me, me day, what thing this is all about, which all is irrelevant and very unprofessional. I say, Mr. Emmanuel, okay, all the questions the way they bring to me are the answer. I say, Mr. Emmanuel, I they are they represent everybody as a journalist, whether you're not APC, SLPP, for that's the reason why I reach out to you. For now, you come and speak on behalf of the Sierra Leone People's Party. Eh, well, I want to know, I will know a background about you, so on and so forth. I say, okay, I go refer you to the uh, website. For now, you go, go, you go know a lot more about me and how the critical thinking talk show come in, take to the point where it gets in your network. Oh, well, I'm not going to do that because now you need me, this and that. So arrogant. Now you need me, so me time, this and that, blase, blase. Now say, Mr. Emmanuel, do you put this, do you um, really do this to every, what is it? If, in a, using a thinking cap, if CNN called this man, would he be so arrogant? You understand? You don't. You obviously don't show. Say so you get preconceived notion about me, or what has been said about me, or the platform, which is rather rather unfortunate. But the sad part is that if we they go with the work suit and tie, and we they use with words then for fool people them, you know, pretend as if we are good for that um um country day, but yet still. Even just a simple dialogue and the way with the truth we company them is very, very poor. How you go able for whole position tomorrow where you go be fair to all Sarah Union? So having said that, the man talked to me, said he banged the phone for me. I gotta go, I gotta go. He banged the phone for me. So I sent her a message say, Mr. Emmanuel, um, if even a carpet cleaner call you, or pussy way, now nobody, because if not Bill Gates been call you, or now Donald Trump been call you, you not go behave in that manner. So if even a carpet pussy or pussy way they do anything, you for treat out dignity and respect, because one, I put you with respect. And I want to make it clear, say, Mr. Emmanuel, you are not the only person where at the call. And even person like DJ Force, where it be say sometimes, you know, not get the same credential them, a way decent than you. It go treat people with dignity and respect because it know the goal say me on goal here now for now we sit down and talk as Sarah Union, irrespective of a political party. You understand? So DJ Force is better off a whole position as salon than even you as uh, as which you so called credentials them. And I'm being sincere. And going further I can always say people like Mr. Rado Suare or Rado Yoki, these are examples of decent people the way I don't reach out to in the past. And even Mr. 
um, Indolo Devora, where I've been doing interview with, they are decent Sierra Leone, irrespective of their political um, affiliation. When you call them in the give reception, they will talk to you fine. Elect them not show up, now so much a man for day. You know, go we'll say you they represent the Sierra Leone People's Party, and you happen to be the public, uh, 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 how you call them, uh, 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 former Secretary General, and you they behave in that manner. Not so long ago, a couple of days ago, I, I, I interviewed the, the, the Secretary for the All People's Congress. Every time you reach out to that man, it will talk to you with dignity and respect. So how in a go able point finger to the all, the main opposition and in a they do the worst? It's rather unfortunate. Very sad and shameful. So Mr. Emmanuel, stop for the use this social media for fool people them when it be say you know they live up to expectation and you treat me in a very disrespectful manner for then you bang the phone. So having said that, now I just to take this for educate Sierra Leone and say, no, we be careful. Who that they would they put in that them position them? If even a C for C now, SLPP, APC, they all, then get good interest for the country, we know we put in there. But now we don't go by affiliation. Now we go about somebody where it be say, if even somebody when at the carpet cleaner, he call you, you understand me, then we treat them with dignity and respect. Dignity and respect. And then we we'll go, they begin to choose whose forum they will go because they don't get preconceived notion about somebody or because they get somebody where they challenge them to the reality, then they shy away from them forum them, then they go to a forum them where them be if he said they will be begin to cajole them. Having said that, this is Nakadija Tijan Nabi, another very sad day um, and very disappointment, disappointing for somebody we have been facing a hold in high esteem. We really prove to me otherwise. Khadija Tijan Nabi, God bless Will and God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. Wonderful. Having said that, I've been once there and I get the opportunity for you here. The very first audio way I've been sent out on social media. Um, for basically educate Sierra Leoneans then of we politicians them we dare to go hold um, sensitive position back home like I stated on the audio in the audio say um, anything it starts with we conduct how we they treat each other they go a long way from there I get um, uh, a notification today somebody will call me where I not be know where it say now I'm um, of the forum, the Sierra Leone People's Party WhatsApp forum, where me not belong. Now they this person writes this, and I they read them before I go and land. So waiting, I want to address today. Dear Khadija Tijan Nabi, on the third of June, twenty twenty, you released an audio that was mainly p based in assassinating the character of Emmanuel Ali, former Secretary General of Sierra Leone People's Party North America. According to you, you have been trying in several occasions to invite him to your talk show. You allege he was being very rude, unprofessional, lack manners, and unfit for any position. And then again, as some words them where he choose choice of words them where in know you read that of me on the audio. Of course, I can attest say he was very rude. It was very disappointing because indeed I hold it so high esteem. But again, when you they try for um, say what in person say, you want to make sure so you come direct and to the point as to what in Khadija say versus the words them where you they choose for address me and this number we didn't send to me i definitely also go further for try for call and today for now it will be part of this platform where it will come as a as a guest for name me and ingo able to get a civilized and um healthy uh, dialogue unfortunately no pick up and i shall say is see me flyer but in no respond so again if you watch the show at the um I will challenge you and, uh, and invite you for now you come. Now we get a healthy dialogue. Now you get a better understanding. And everything where you want to know about my affiliation today, I am who I am because like I can always say, now God, I deserve and if we no matter man, hence the reason why I take him to feel and say it's necessary for now address this particular thing. Having said that, um, I say, um, now go further. I don't know so I stop, but now I just say very unprofessional because you did you don't support any pol any political party you give you give a level playing field to all guests you host in in your program my findings however reveal otherwise in 2017 you rushed in the defense of S samura kamara former flag bearer of the all people's congress when he, when he was involved in a scandal that has to do with taking a picture with a lady that showed her breast so vividly 
Many accuse him of dating the lady, which was so apparent through the picture. You responded through a memo in his defense from your APC woman in action, rapid response team. Here was your memo from Khadija, from the office of Chair Lady, Madam Khadija um, Nabi, APC US Ladies at Work, press release. APC Ladies at Work, rapid media response team. We have been monitoring and observing misleading comment on social media with regards to a picture some are deliberately misconstructing to be inappropriate our presidential candidate dr samura kamara has no control over what one what one cho chooses to wear secondly as a firm believer in protecting women's rights dr samura kamara's leadership philosophy frown against any attempt to dictate what a woman wears or any sense of um, censorship. Definitely as a statement, Dr. Samura encouraged decency, but he is not the leader, the leader that will reprimand or be judgmental, especially of what a woman wear, woman's, women wears. Dr. Samura's main focus for now is to win the 2018 presidential election and to continue the great legacy of President Ines Koma, which is to ensure our country is on a positive growth um, trajectory and promoting prosperity for all. APC USA Ladies of Work Rapid Media Response Team. And what I found very interesting, you try to, to character assassinate a fine gentleman who has built his reputation for years. Your reasons were he, he acted unprofessionally and rude for not adhering to your request. Samura Kamara that was involved in booby touching <laughs> booby touching business you took your time to defend him in fine political language can you compare the two gentlemen in anything i think you are a uh, decor for apc you are using your online show to lure them into embarrassment those that refuse that refuse you still go after them you still go after them in using the power of voice to bring them down i can I am calling on all APC stakeholders to boycott the program of Khadija Tijan Nabi. She's using her platform to spew ma uh, malicious propaganda and character assassination um, of fine Sierra Union in the interest of APC. I can categorically tell you, you orchestrated and directed the character assassination of Laya Lawrence Lima. I draw your attention to the issue of the physical challenge person whom you said were abused by La Lawrence Lima in your program. You actually paid the young man to talk in your program. I have evidence of that. I will submit all as this investigation about your person continue. Now, having said that, um, there's a lot of lies and first way you say wh whoever this individual is and like I say, I they encourage you and I they invite you for you come now you um, call, I don't make the number, I don't display the number. Now we thread for now you call me first. Make I'm make very clear. I have said this before and I will say this again. Um, this platform is not only limited to Sierra Leonean. It's limited to beyond the Sierra Leonean community. If you go on our website, it, it specify everything. And again, I'm not there for please God. I don't give people like Aina, this dunya, me they walk towards the next wall. You understand? Having said that, when we the interview or we the invite people and also, and if you listen to me, stop keenly. The reason why I reach out to Mr. Emmanuel, Mr. Emmanuel is bottom of the line when you when you talk about people that we hold um, sensitive position. There are a lot of dissent, and I repeat, dissent, dissent, um, um, members of the Sierra Leone People's Party. We hold executive position when I don't engage with them for bringing them to them platform here. If even they're not honor the invitation because of their schedule or whatever the case may be, they always they treat me with dignity and respect. So you are missing the point here. And again, I repeat, decent Sierra Leoneans, we hold sensitive position. Now the Sierra Leone People's Party, where it be say, they know what in Khadija stand for. And what thing you they do right now is a partisan approach. Let me make it very clear to you, and I've said this before. Waiting now, waiting now, we write a Sierra Leonean. We are 
we get rights for belong to any political party of we choice. There are certain things the way I go tell you say you are right. The stuff that way you say first and foremost you 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 um I they get a call now see what in this person and say salon for all voice for all network television kindly identify yourself please. Salon for all voice for all network television kindly identify yourself. Hey, you're welcome, sir. Welcome, Mr. Morris. I mean, it's time for land to be, be case, but you don't give me a chance. But go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I don't see you want to add. No, exactly. No, that, no, that make a call you. Yes. And listeners worldwide when they listen to this program. Yes. Well, once again, I want to take this opportunity for thank you very much. Yes. That you create a platform, Salon for All. You create a platform which I people in the camp, then they express the opinion. Yes. As your big brother, as a listener, as a supporter, I just want to talk publicly to you in terms of advice based on what you don't go on with your program today and all what you don't talk so. Yes. Because as I listen to you and all, we already listen to you when you watch you. We see you spend more time for defend yourself, <laughs> for this defend your personal interaction with somebody we call we treat you bad. Mm -hmm. We they look and say as I listen to you respectfully and attentively. Mm -hmm. I look look and say this is not what Salon for All is about. Yeah. Why big digital can allow this in the spend time for defend this for explain this. The program now for people away can they with their opinion whether they agree with you, mm -hmm. you disagree with them or whatever. Yeah. To call for big you publicly internationally. <laughs> for see yeah. in the event something like this happen, you call for the more it's fully more molest you it disrespects you. Yeah. Don't make a show about that. It no 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 I want no, no, no one second. No, no one second, Mr. Fode. I need to make a show about that. I want to make give time for me audience then because waiting though uh, um, social media is powerful we cannot underestimate social media you understand so anything what is being said there there are certain things then for me not god that they serve and um i want to make them very clear to the one that we do care for this platform we care for me we appreciate me um i want to make certain things and clear before we land to it today's show yeah right coming there. yes sir that is a problem right there yeah then why would you look at cnn and bbc then bbc msnbc <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No. You don't want to be important. They cannot be programmed. They yeah. disagree with you. They argue with you. They come and call and they disagree with you. So yes. you give me the audience. Yes. You understand? Yes. Just simply it. Yes. Respectfully. Yeah. Let the program go. Let continue with other things. Talk about it. I call so and so. You know, talk to me. Fine. Yes. Unfortunately, oh, like today on, because I don't start and I didn't learn to what I want to make clear for the last time and then I don't need to address any other stuff. So because I don't start. Make I just land and then will they carry on with me? Guess then. I appreciate you, sir. Huh? I appreciate you too. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. God bless. Bye. Yeah. Yes. Having said that, I want to make and clear say I appreciate Mr. Um, Fode Morris in concern. Thank you so much for calling. But again, this God willing, this could be the last time we um, I didn't make and clear to the audience them. Um, you are welcome to get your preconceived notion about me. But like I say, my first priority is the world, not God. Secondly, not my conscience, you understand? When I can, so regardless of my affiliation or what I don't know of me, um, is that I can also for accommodate every Sierra Leonean. When I get a debate, I call every political party. If not APC respond, NGC, C4C, fine, I go with that. When this platform starts, not to me know how, not to me sabi, not God um, guide me because of the tension we'll get now this last um, presidential election. So I come about, I bring all political party members them from the one they were they consider as controversial, which I do not care um, because I believe say we all make the green, white, and blue. Under this platform, 
under the critical thinking talk show i don't invite miss memona to rappel i don't get mr jibril bangura because who i am to judge any of them i can always say all the political diehard fans them they all are in the same category you cannot point finger on one and you left the other one you cannot recommend one person you call this person saying that so then you left the other one because it then are your interest no i don't believe in that again when the critical thinking talk show starts it starts off where for the Sierra Leone people's party i mean get somebody like bill gates we come we as a representative mr kutubu say you know one can as Sierra Leone people's party um representative it they come as independent i respect that adebayo he say it they come as independent i respect that jibri bangura he say they come as apc i respect that the late Mr. Alex Mansare, we don't die, don't go on a true wall, himself been come on the APC, and the list go on. There was about five different women in back where they come different, different with himself, where some of them come for represent the woman them. Having said that, everything when we don't do today, a day out there, as the, I am not ashamed of anything. Me, again, this person is not taking time for really gets to the bottom of me in a positive way most of the time within people they know me for not the united for salon when i'm a non-profit you understand having said that as i do that one day then come to me then once i get involved in politics where i, I sit down with the the president of new jersey chapter where i tell and say i'm really not a politician i'm more of a um, humanitarian wherein that i just want to make sure say the least sarah Leone and get them basic need at that time, I bring me on concern of waiting me not be me concern, which at that time it was the um wait a minute, let's go off with then vice president. He sit down and convince me, say, Well, these are the things where you feel say you're a very strong person in our community, you they do well, so on and so forth. And these are some of the things them way if you believe say you want to make changes, you just get forget involved. Having said that, that's how I end up being part of the um the all people's congress. From there, I was appointed to sensitive position. I will consider them as um, part of the PRO of the women's wing to the point where I get to national. I am not ashamed of that. Not at one time, if any of you get an evidence where me, they use me mouth for divide we as a nation or as Sierra Leonean in a pool that authentic evidence day. And also waiting this man will go further for do. I be don't always, I be don't get one interview where it be say um, now with an, a gentleman uh, in, on the own platform and I listen to that interview every time when me they use me mouth now for now we understand say it is okay to belong to a political party but it's not okay for now we use we mouth and for divide with self but let me tell you something it is more than irrelevant for now anybody if CNN call you Fox News call you people you know you know go ask them say whose political party wouldn't they you understand me or um the president when a dem democrat you know go say oh he need to go on this platform na um bbc or cnn because this person is affiliated with that person they you they get me so it, irrelevant for now you say a lie to that man you know they're not the phone and that, indeed that man was very very disrespectful this is a man where i've been look with his certain suit and tie where they present himself out there i look him as a very responsible respectful and a uh, decent person but for now it go to the point that it banged phone for me it wasn't called for and there's no way when me god now me living witness for now you talk say me pay somebody for now it come and all the interview them so you want to say honorable um indolo devour where i do an interview i pay him right i get all the authentic evidence then they when i do mr saluti janjalo i pay him when I do Mr. Fire, Amara Fire, I pay him, and so many other things that I don't do out there. And I, I don't need for pay anybody. I do this with clean heart and with sincerity. There's no need. I go try for please motor man and left God. I am not looking for any political appointment. I love what I do, and I don't go try for doam. So I just want to make them very clear. Um, if you get any question, come to me direct because the, the numbers them for we for for we platform is always they available. But for now you go. You go begin to write something against me, me personality for say I the like that man because when you love somebody, try for correct at the very early stage because it go end up if it end up be take sensitive position, then you know say it go treat everybody um, um, equal and sincerely 
re regardless of the political affiliation, regardless of the tribe or the region. So when you love somebody and I say for try for um put up and say, hey, you know, for don't sit standing and I get get I bet you if you go back again and talk to anyone they were don't I don't contact in the past, they not say me not a decent person and not ever judgmental. And hence the reason why, like I say, and this this is platform platform not for only APC, SLP, PC, for C, not for everybody as the name implies. So I want to make that very clear. Having said that, I did pause here again. Um, like I said, today now honorable Abubaka for the Sila in Bate at the celebrate Power time, on. then I bring about and join we we get standard and can't join with them. We go land to with today topic and continue for address issue of relevance. And I thank you for in a time and I said, I'm going to shake body small till we get standing coming. Thank you and I welcome once again. <laughs> Patriots, my name is Francis Ben Kaifala and I am Renaissance. The Sierra Leone Renaissance movement has called on fellow Sierra Leoneans to wear black on Monday. We call it Black Monday. It's the Monday where we are supposed to show our dissatisfaction at the way the country has been run. Since independence to date, the Sierra Leonean has had a life that is less than what we would desire. We wake up in the morning worrying about the basic things that the rest of the world has forgotten. We worry about electricity, we worry about water supply, we worry about food, we even worry about security. Successive governments have failed us. This is the time for the Serenian to refuse to accept less and request more. We have to show our leaders that poverty is not a way of life. It is something which is man-made. And men all over the world have fought to change it. In Sierra Leone, it seems things cannot get better. Why? Why do people vote governments? Governments are voted to make the lives of their people better. If they cannot make their lives better, then that is a failure of social contract. And when there is a failure of social contract, the counterparties, in this case, who are the people, need to demand from their governments that what is done is not what was agreed. We have to stand up for what we believe in. We cannot reject, we cannot accept this way of life. We have to reject it. In recent times, the economy has been destroyed. Inflation is galloping. The dollar has moved from uh, 4,300 yuan in 2013 to 7,300 million in 2016. Inflation is something around 12.5%. Few days ago, even VL, which underscores the basic movement of people to engage in economic activity, has moved from 3,750 million to 6,000 million. Why? 
how do they expect people to leave? That is why we in the Renaissance movement are calling on the Iranians to wear black. The black is to show that the colors that have led us have failed us. Now in Sierra Leone, black is the new red. We are not ready to accept less. I thank you. Good morning, compatriots. My name is Francis Ben Kaifala and I am Renaissance. The Sierra Leone Renaissance movement has called on fellow Sierra Leoneans to wear black on Monday. We call it Black Monday. It's the Monday where we are supposed to show our dissatisfaction at the way the country has been run. Since independence to date, the Sierra Leonean has had a life that is less than what we desire. We wake up in the morning worrying about the basic things that the rest of the world has forgotten. We worry about electricity, we worry about water supply, we worry about food, we even worry about security. Successive governments have failed us. This is the time for the Sierra Leonean to refuse to accept less and request more. We have to show our leaders that poverty is not a way of life. It is something which is man-made and men all over the world have fought to change it. In Sierra Leone, it seems things cannot get better. Why? Why do people vote governments? Governments are voted to make the lives of their people better. If they cannot make their lives better, then that is a failure of social contract. And when there is a failure of social contract, the counterparties, in this case, who are the people, need to demand from their governments that what is done is not what was agreed. We have to stand up for what we believe in. We cannot reject, we cannot accept this way of life. We have to reject it. In recent times, the economy has been destroyed. Inflation is galloping. The dollar has moved from uh, 4,300 yuns in 2013 to 7,300 yuns in 2016. Inflation is something around 12.5%. Few days ago, even fear, which underscores the basic movement of people to engage in economic activity, has moved from 3,750 uh, yuns to 6,000 yuns. Why? How do they expect people to leave? That is why we in the Renaissance movement are calling on the Iranians to wear black. The black is to show that the colors that have led us have failed us. Now, in Sierra Leone, black is the new red. We are not ready to accept less. I thank you. Good morning, compatriots. My name is Francis Ben Kaifala, and I am Renaissance. The Sierra Leone Renaissance movement has called on fellow Sierra Leoneans to wear black on Monday. We call it Black Monday. It's the Monday where we are supposed to show our dissatisfaction at the way the country has been run. Since independence to date, the Sierra Leonean has had a life that is less than what we desire. We wake up in the morning worrying about the basic things that the rest of the world has forgotten. We worry about electricity, we worry about water supply, we worry about food, we even worry about security. Successive governments have failed us. This is the time for the Sierra Leonean to refuse to accept less and request more. We have to show our leaders that poverty is not a way of life. It is something which is man-made and men all over the world have fought to change it. In Sierra Leone, it seems things cannot get better. Why? Why do people vote governments? Governments are voted to make the lives of their people better. If they cannot make their lives better, then that is a failure of social contract. And when there is a failure of social contract, the counterparties, in this case, who are the people, need to demand from their governments that what is done is not what was agreed. We have to stand up for what we believe in. We welcome back, Salon for All, Voice for All Network Television. And I all welcome and I thank you for the patience. And I all welcome once again and I thank you for the patience. Um, tonight, like I say, we get 
three fine gentlemen with we in the mist. Um, first in our midst tonight is a man we I will refer to as a seasoned lawyer, Honorable Sori S. Tarawali, attorney at law, youth ju court judge. Um, he also don't, I call him, don't handle civil criminal um, cases them. It don't be a county attorney and the list goes on. In terms of his educational background, Honorable Lawyer Tarawali attended a university that is considered to be among the best um, around the world, where then they, where they here in New Jersey in the America, when I worked at university and later attended the University of uh, Mississippi, um, where he further in law school. Second, we tweet tonight go be another individual where um, Nabi also a member is also a member and a former Secretary General of the Sierra Leone Bar Association. He currently they work as a public policy analyst with uh, Mr. Ibrahim Sori Kamara. And then the last one, but not the least, uh, we will be with we tonight, na, a former head of democracy, Sierra Leone. He continued his activism here in the United States as a civil rights activist, Mr. Mohammed Werese. So having said that, I did bring Mr. Mohammed right away. And then the other one, and then go um, join we as the show they go on. So that way, in a go stay bored as in the patients need to wait. And I thank you once again. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Mr. Where is say, welcome, welcome to Salon for All, Voice for All Network Television. Uh, as you know, now we three, we four for dinner the screen. But the other one, and they run a little bit late. I assume it's technical issue because I talked to um, lawyer Sori Tarali. It seemed like they get some difficulty, um, but he'll come join me later. So having said that, I want to take this opportunity. I just give a brief um, background about you, but who best can describe you or introduce you than yourself? So welcome, sir. Feel free. Make sure to make yourself at home. Just look and see, not just a dialogue. So no gets no nervous. Feel very free. Take your time and introduce yourself to the world. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, um, Adija. Um, I think since don't tell me the seminar, Mohamed Lawi say. Yeah. Rampant the controversial, <laughs> rampant the controversial civil society in Sierra Leone. <laughs> the man can say me able to burn my small pork. <laughs> one boy me able to go send big big pork. Like that. Because I'm between the Nabaru and the Gishi. However, um, I've been here at an organization we don't call Democracy Sierra Leone. Okay. And now I do this in the United States. America yeah. and I um, did life via the internet. Wonderful. Democracy Sierra Leone. Give us a big background about uh, but before we get to democracy Sierra Leone, what team make them consider you as one of the controversial or the one we hit too big for Buena Fort? <laughs> because, because I know they take them Dabaru, then mix up, then you can, you can, you know. Yes. I see a lot of against the people they we. Yes. I mean, especially when it comes to the majority people they we. You know, me don't see it right now. No, 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 I mean, look at some people are believing some of the people they interest, especially when it comes to the majority of people they interest. Now they talk about, now they talk for, and I know they go to bed or have refused to go to bed some of the way. Not get democratic principles. A lot of that make, you know, people now, some people. No one for your name, but you say they talk so. What you are happy for, what you are happy for, Kadija, I must be honest, what you are happy for. I work with several local and international donors, nobody no one for me say, hey, bring the balance with my name, let's keep your money, you know? Yeah. Oh, I don't go on the radio, oh, you don't go lie, you say you don't know what you are talk for. You know they tell me for somebody to lie. Yeah. So I think say that make it, that make it most of the time, um, what people don't get way around you. Yeah. yeah, so basically, what it, it sound like you always for the masses and what's in the benefit the masses, correct? Of course, wonderful. Of course. That's my way to, that's my, my, my way stand on, you know, yeah. I'm not yeah. grief again, um, regime change against the people of we, I'm not grief for, of course, um, and see, 
no, no kind of color defined, color defined. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Strings make, you know, you have to put in, get away with it, things and all these things. So, yeah, I don't mind. I mean, for me, I always say it's a democratic thing, but she's a free to choose what she wants to think about me. Mm-hmm. I'll be with you on that. Wonderful. So, now, give me a bit background about um, Democracy Sierra Leone. What thing you do there, and what thing have been this um, um, organization about? If you can give me the detail of some of we we may not really know the detail of the Sierra Leone, the Democratic Sierra Leone formed in 2007. Um, the same way we come to the 2007 election, in the lead up to that election, that is um, a 66 society group come together under the the rightful eyes and blessing of the National Democratic Institute called NDI. Then based in America now, even though they be all over the world. Um, and from that, they create democracy in the world. Okay. Um, then CPC decided to and they decided to you say, no, get one plus from Musai. All man will come for can discuss. But um, as it happened in 2007, um, a regime in change, you know, a lot of people then they decide to say, oh, this is not the organization anymore. You know, they refuse to set up democracy and they for change regime. A lot of people then were vexed and left the organization. But as um, somebody who really believe in the cause and we really believe in democratic tenets, I uphold them. I continue with democracy for, for the past from 2007 until 2018. When I left the I've been I've been in managed democracy and then work with lots of donors. You name them. You know the United Nations. You know directly in the United. In Washington, um, the, the, uh, sorry, in New York, the United, United States Embassy, the British High Commission, you know, all of these people that they see me because um, we been, they present very good proposal to them for strengthening the democracy. So then they give me um, a lot of funding. I must use this program to say thanks to them because 2007 to 2000. And and 18, we see how mm-hmm. democracy will thrive despite the challenges that we will face as a country. But yet, you know, in that short span, you know, of the democratic life, we, we see the kind of progress we, we make in Asia Leone. Largely, you get freedom to express itself. Largely, you get freedom to assemble. Largely, we see something that we conduct peaceful, free and fair election. You know, we're going to the case now. We don't, we don't just drastically change. Now, even if Village, village is man election. People they must fight, you know, because people they just feel say um, it's not about the ballot anymore. It's about you know the, the, the feast, and I think say it really is sad. So democracy is really not enjoy very good relationship with people on the ground. We don't work with parliament, um, Kabuja. We don't work with parliament since the inception because we in a one organization we believe say if we for make democracy strengthen us in Leon, if we able to build the capacity of the parliamentarians and so that they are able to hold the legislative accountable. Mm-hmm. You know, so what will we do and for make parliament get a power, you know, let them understand say they get a kind of power and for hold um, even the president accountable in a way come to accountability. Let them know say anybody will work under the president in a part of the executive, then get the power for hold them accountable. So we will train them you know, we they um, take them to the constituency then because we want people to understand the laws that we they pass as a radio, you know. We we democracy that we learn the thing as a radio, you know, we we we, we work on Ebola, you know, during the outbreak, now even at the other organization we the US embassy they give funding to go um around around the country, you know, we're gonna fight this with them to ensure say we strengthen sensitization, we strengthen the resilience the fight against Ebola, you know, and then tell me. So I think say um my stuff so far because we 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 take all the time if I say if I talk all the democracy. No, feel free, please go ahead, go ahead, continue. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. We we um do because we not ever create a bias. You know, like say we take APC parliamentarian no more or we take SLP parliamentarians no more or we take one, you know, for we make sure see we do them across the board. We program in the cut across. Um, we see different teams then. We're going to have different partner the country. We work with um, councillors then. We work with 
um, parliamentarians and the local um, traditional leaders there. You know, we, we, we believe all over the country. We believe all over the country. In fact, my win and other organization, they um, so far don't go now. All 112 constituencies came. Then we can get to 112 constituencies. Democracy is already now built. All the organizations we in touch now. All of them constituencies can do it. Can impact democracy. Can make people get, get the feel of how they run, how parliament they run. What in government mean? What in government mean to them? Would that therefore hold with this um, road normally? How therefore hold them people when they they what are well known? You understand? Yeah. Those things we try to ensure say we embed them uh, the community so that people they will understand and accept fully this thing we they call um, democracy. Um, we will go to corner. We work with the um, one organization we know are in then the ODI. We work with them. We will go to corner. We find out say there was a problem between the um, um, political leaders and the traditional leaders on the one hand, and there was a problem between the traditional leaders and the young people. They seem they this, understand. sorry sir, they seem they say like for say they need to hear you well, then they say volume, volume. So I don't know if you can increase, because I think me, me on the as high as I can possibly put them. I don't know if you, you can increase you on, I know the, we other guests they come in, so hold on one second. Sorry for interrupt. Yes, welcome, welcome, sir, Hi, honorable, honorable lawyer. Yeah, Mr. Wege said, it's okay, no worry. Um, put your video back on. Um, yes, wonderful. All right. Um, Mr. Tawali, audio not there on, but go ahead, sir. You there, sir? Laura, there, you are. Wonderful. Well, I, just find, I just find that he was able to do the same way. You know, I went to... <laughs> School in the, in the last in the last century, so it's not too easy for me to. You are fine. This te into this technology, I, I think so. Call my call my daughter because I was <laughs> trying to get into the computer, use my computer screen, but now I see I'm on. I'm on my telephone. Okay. You know what? See, not feel guilty when it comes to technology. with the learn every day. It's a never-ending okay. process. So having said that. Okay. Um, now make that in. So this is uh, Mr. Wege serving there on the floor. I mean, they try for educate so we on uh, what thing that we they do as a civil society activist back home with the organization where we they represent. So having said that, do you have Mr. Wege says forgive me. Now I'm making a we honorable lawyer come in and introduce himself and then I'll bring you back in, Mr. Wege say. Okay, uh, is that uh, the former postman? Yes. Mr. Uh, Wege say. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I did well. I don't know how to do it. So it's a while. Most of them are never meeting. I live up in a maybe some of them are ever going to live up in, but uh, I've lived in uh, Mississippi for over 30 years now, really 35 years since I got out of law school. Before then, I was in uh, New Jersey and Philadelphia. That's where I, I start. So, uh, I know the East Coast very well. My friends and relatives are up on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to join you all this evening. Wonderful. And I hope I, I, I hope I, I wouldn't be an obnoxious guest anyway. <laughs> or, 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 or panelist. So I don't, I'm glad to be here. I don't think so. Welcome, sir. Welcome once again. Mr. Wayesi, come back in and let you finish your thoughts, sir. Welcome. Yeah, well, I think so. Um, we can continue the program. Like I've been saying, democracy is only do, do plenty in a city. And we make we be a household name. You know, they talk about how people don't contribute to democracy. Democracy in um, um, a city. If you not talk about democracy, so um, that has stopped so far. All right, wonderful, wonderful. So now we land to today's topic, like how the flyers say, we get a lot for discuss. One of which is freedom of speech, freedom of um, assembly, a peaceful assembly, you name it. So now we we'll start first with freedom of speech, and we connect time with the current um, state of affair in the Republic of Sierra Leone. As you being one of the activists back home, how in I mean also help in that area. For ne, um, every Sierra Leonean gets that right. For ne, they're able to express themselves freely without they not be reprimanded. Whether it is things them way it be said and see said, they go on right now the country. Um, what thing you be don't do in that area? But before you come, the man way gets the 
know the know-how in that department if we can connect them with the america um you know lost them and um then we try for connect time with the country i want to come in honorable lawyer now you tell me about waiting you know the first amendment of the united states of america and waiting at the right of um its citizen them and we connect them with salon and the current state of affairs welcome back sir uh, you're talking about me, right? Yes, sir. That, thank you very much. Yes, uh, really, there is a basic principle that people have to understand. America has the oldest constitution in the world. Now, after we own constitution now, and the French, they start. Now, of course, we get the inspiration from the French Revolution and the Renaissance movement in Europe and the right of a free man and all that. But now we are constitutional and the longest and the oldest continuous living constitution. So there are some things that we have in our constitution in our constitution that are taken for granted to be by other people, but it's unique. Mm -hmm. The freedom of speech really based on, uh, you can trace the origin from the common law, but I don't want to be so esoteric. So let me just go to the bottom line. There is a freedom of expression. And that freedom of expression, now to give substance to which you think, now you mind, your opinion. And that cannot be abridged. We, and that we uh, put up, now we own First Amendment. You have a right to the free expression of your opinion, and you have a right to express your opinion by demonstrating or by taking all appropriate action. Now, that are the, that are the basic right. Now, every right gets a limitation. You don't have a right to uh, shout fire in a crowded theater. Mm -hmm. You don't. So, so when people like to talk about freedom of speech, now, the, 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 the smaller democracies or the younger democracies, mm -hmm. they say that absolute freedom. It's not really absolute. Somebody's trying to call it so. That's uh Okay, it cannot interfere with you. Pick. Okay, would they yeah, see yeah. now? But when I, when I read it, yes, yes, so they hear you all through. Yes. Yeah, it does not see me. Okay. Yes, yes. So the freedom of speech is punctuated by the responsibility of your, of your free speech. You cannot shout uh, fire in a crowded theater when there is no fire. Even though you, that's your speech, but that can be abridged. You know, you cannot cuss the king or the queen in the old days we did. Or you cannot uh, 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 abuse the state without any reason to. So, so there, are, there are restrictions on the freedom of speech, but the freedom of your freedom to speak, to express your opinion, cannot be abridged, and you shouldn't suffer any penalty for the exercise of that freedom. Now that now they everybody they try for right of the today, they will they call. Uh me not to salon lawyer read and all every salon lawyer I, uh, I study, but you know I don't read nineteen ninety one constitution and very much I would have uh, aware of what's going on there. The basic freedom of them is not, but if somewhere in the new constitution, if I be able to pull me country, I will make them, I will even read and I'm proud to be able to we'll, we'll even know the exact time where they talk about them. So I don't know how they intend to talk about Yes, there is a freedom of to express yourself. Of course, there are many other things when they get at the law, you need the freedom almost circumspect. Because really, if in America we did the 1965 Public Order Act would have been would be, would have been abrogated okay. because the, the law no longer keeps pace with the, the Constitution. Who not there? 
but they feel lesser. You know, you don't really need, need an act of parliament to, 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 to repeal that. Even by the, the presence of a new superseding law, we like a system, but don't repeal that. Because anyway, uh, maybe I will learn something today. Yes, there is absolute freedom of speech with limitation, and that, that, is, that is what that suggests. Wonderful. Thank you. Now, now pause again on with topic. Now welcome another lawyer we just joined with, Mr. Ibrahim Sori Koroma. Kindly take the floor and introduce yourself, please. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Madam Khadija, for having me. You're welcome. And hello to viewers. Welcome, welcome. I want to give you a small background about yourself and waiting you better do back home. I mean, give a background about you before you come, but who's best to introduce themselves other than you, you, you yourself? So go ahead, sir. Welcome once again. Uh, <coughs> thank you. You're welcome. Uh, me and my I'm and I did practice with um, MS2 and Associates. We are at the head of the farm. We office in our free town. We practice throughout the country, and uh, I specialize in natural resources, law, and public policy. I don't practice for 13 years. One time, second of the Selim Bar Association, and presently, I did at the U.S. and for other things there, you know. So, I'm happy to be here. I think, see, I know one of the panelists, Mr. Waise, mm -hmm. he's a very good colleague of mine, okay. one of the best people who get to see the science in our country, and I'm pleased that he's, he's also with us. Yes, yes, he is. Welcome once again. The first thing we don't um, present to the table now, freedom of speech, where basically, as we all can agree, say that the right to express any opinions without censorship or restraint. So having said that, so we just get to an honorable lawyer, we're in, of course, don't practice over 30 years, if I'm not mistaken, at the United States, where if they give your take on that. Um, so I've been want to ask a further question, but I want you to come in. Now you give me the law then for Salon, they call it Kai say, um, it can only do so much in terms of American law, uh, but when it comes to Sierra Leone, it can only re um, refer back to the Constitution. Having you been um, in the position where you don't, you don't, I call them, um, you don't wait to say for 13 years. I believe Segway will give you a better understanding. What now we connect to waiting they go now with the freedom of speech and waiting with the see the, the whole people then for in the example of Miss Sylvia Olainka Blyden, we will come back to later. Um, this waiting them accuse them for was it warrant enough? If was it enough for that he, he get to the um, place where he did today? So come back in, sir. Um, well, thank you again. Uh, I, I think so. I, I can like for start with a um, context, basically, for provide the foundation for the argument as to whether we get um, rights such as the rights to freedom of expression or the rights for for associates in Sierra Leone. Um, over time, I think they will start for for discuss basically how Salon came about as a foundational principle. We country we found down on the principles of liberty, equality of of the human being, and also on principles of justice. So and therefore. If you look at how we start as a country, the own motto, Tino, we, we hold as sacred to be as a, as a nation, na unity, freedom, and justice. Now, that day, if you watch the code of arm, now that kind of thing, they, now you they see unity, freedom of, of freedom, and justice. Because as a nation, where you they try for, where you they try for uh, define people then, you look at the background, how they come about for them a particular side, and how they come about for be a nation. Tell you, 
most historical uh, uh, document they hold on with, they say uh, that the uh, that the home of free slaves. But before the free slaves, then can people have done it? So basically, without going too much into the history, Salon will get different, different, different type of people. Then. Now on that basis, they then form a country who become uh, um, Sierra Leone today, as we call them, and and um, the constitution don't develop over time. The constitution and history also start from 1961, where we've been, first of all, be proud to that to be done there under British colonial rule. So everything where we be get, it developed from that siding. So by 1961, we become independent, you know, and declare we are an independent state, but we'll be still there under British crown. The British crown, now he will be the head of state. So what we'll be getting a prime minister, prime minister. After that, we we'll get 1971 with a brand new constitution where we call the Republican constitution. On that basis, they will become now self-governing country. So we'll get own presidents. The British parliament or the British government will be get no direct control over we. So then constitution and they then get their own shortfalls. But we also develop, after we don't become self-governing country now, in 1978, they get a new constitution. That constitution, they also give um, the Sierra Leone as them the right for determining how they want to govern their states. But what you do, we move, and the government then they move the country to a single party administration with a very strong parliament. So in other words, they try to combine the presidential and parliamentary system. So, the country governed and governed that country, the country for a long time under that 1978 constitution, until 1991. The 1991 constitution, and then the present constitution. And that constitution, they basically, what you try to do, and for make sure, say, it address all them constraints, them, all the challenges that we don't get from before colonial rule, um, during colonial rule, after independence, during the one party system. But unfortunately, what do we get now, as we, we, we assess the Constitution now, we find out, say, the 1991 Constitution, it made provision for several rights there, both for enjoy, including, of course, the right to free speech, the right to associate and belong to a political party or that kind of thing. But we also see, say, because this present Constitution also give, it give with one hand, but it also take with the other hand, in other words, it is say you get all that right there, but if the states think say in the public interest, therefore take that right and they from you, then the states can do it. You know, so a lot of people are not raised concerns. So when you said the right they will get that the, that the, con that the constitution. Interesting. Sorry, sir. When you talk that there was um several time I don't make that concern day about the 1965 public order act um do you believe that that's something where we will for revisit and try for omit a lot of things that within that act they way not they in the interest of Sierra Leoneans them but that i mean i like for starting context so the, from musa starts after we get independence we'll be still there on that colonial rule until 1971. between 1961 and 1971 we now then and passed the 1965 legislation when 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 the, the public order act today. I see. And from 1965 to now, the same act ending. Mm -hmm. So it gets a lot of draconian provisions mm -hmm. when the colonial rule be the try for 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 use for protect their own interest. In other words, mm -hmm. that particular law day, it it is time for people and liberty, not for rights against the government because at that time they they still the head of state was still in England. I see. So can, I say, can I say something on that? Can unfortunately, when the 1991 constitution yes, comes, yes, the 1991 constitution, yeah. if we don't can address all the issues they day, yeah. for, for example, for issues that were, where they, where, where concerning the liberty of citizens, the rights of citizens for protest, where the, where the states not for control them, because in, if the people get, people are elect. The, the, the leaders there. And the, this 1991 constitution says that the people there, that they're sovereign, that they get the ultimate power in the, the country. Even though the 1991 constitution says that they, they're not 
time for amend the public order act for make it day in tune with the provisions of the 1991 constitution they still left their own laws they lay now the 1991 constitution we say for example if we protest you get for right to the ig you, you know go protest in a parliament you know go protest near a parliament you know go, go if you are hold meetings or protest that offline you get for consult the parliament chief and then get in the day they all they know they in, they're not consistent with the provisions of the constitution but then they're inside the laws of the 1991 uh, of the of 1965 public order act but the 1991 constitution say the constitution now is supreme now in the supreme law any other law or any other provision now any law where they contrary to the provisions of the 1991 constitution a void but can I, can I step in? What do do now? Back what did the yes, sir. You have second. What did they do they do in that country? Now, for make sure, say, they further confuse people. Eh? Okay. They further confuse people. Eh? Then they give different interpretations to the Constitution and different interpretations to the law, the Public Order Act, for example. Wonderful. So now, bring. Can I step in? Yes, sir. Come in, come in, come in, sir. Come in. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ibrahim, sorry. Yeah, Mr. Ibrahim, sorry. Yes. Believe me, you said you said many things that are very, very good for this system. And especially for person like you. If I take it, you are you are a lawyer trained in, in Sierra Leone, right? Yes. Okay. We now, God help we we learn law, we try to make law. So we understand law. You, you know what I mean? You know, if you still don't know when they talk about snow, then they explain to you snow. They don't go ever really know it in a snow until the day outside snow they come up. <laughs> yeah, you know, we learn long side and make law. And I make with a tell with a tell is the union. There is something they get you absolutely, absolutely wrong. We not even make sense to me. We train. Which time they make law? Okay? Look, if you have a constitution that becomes the supreme law of the land, that constitution becomes supreme to every other law whether pre-existing or enacted under that constitution, the constitution becomes the supreme law. Now, that in a constitution like you say. So, by in a constitution, then they don't really abrogate the public order act. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Because the constitution tells them that's the supreme law. So, anything inconsistent with the constitution is void. So, could so it... So, I don't know you them. Yeah. I don't know you them. Go argue that, and we all in America when I we learn to do you not know, know, and now we see that they're crazy. Why can't they just act as a simple thing? So, could you it can, you, you could, can clean yeah. up all of these things now? Remember, now, and uh, and, and my, my lawyer colleague here, my learned brother, because in which they talk that public order act 1965 was something taken from 1860 something in London. Mm -hmm. and, I didn't get the public order. I didn't pass on my colleague. He was a very good lawyer. Okay? I didn't pull a can. We play a can at Salon. Mm. By the way, the public order act, not to a PT maker. Oh, let me make this disclosure. I am APC to the court. Okay? <laughs> when I define an NRS, so from there I will talk. The public order act was enacted under Sir Albert Magai. Albert Magai was a very good lawyer. In fact, Albert Magai was a better lawyer than his, than his son. Because Charles is Albert, son, okay? Albert Magai was a very good lawyer, smart boy too, okay? But then Macaulay, one of the smartest. Now they can bring public order act in Salon. After the non we independence, we not even get a public order, now they pray and come. They pull out from 18, 1800s in, 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 in England, now they can and ask that. But since then, we have had constitution upon constitution that tell the constitution this is the this is the supreme law of the land. Then you get some thing that is way completely inconsistent with what we are getting on the constitution. And people then they wouldn't call it well, even the judges they not think for no say this not for a great anymore. Because they grow up or they learn law in a system where law really get constitution. Britain not get constitution constitution. So they don't know what constitution means, like it means to run train American lawyers. And 
doing constitutional and law in America is not just something you know one cause or do one thing or whatever. It's so interrelated, it's a whole lot of things. So I agree with you with what you say. The Public Order Act should have been abroad, should have been repealed by an by the act of the enactment of each succeeding constitution. Because you cannot you, you cannot get freedom of expression in a section uh, let me see. I think probably in uh, 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 25, so, uh, 25. Uh, okay, yeah. You know, I did some legal put me on the job. So you go ahead and you're going to be still studying. So we don't know about it. But it's quite yeah. okay. But just check out the internet for image books. That's, that's, that's uh, guaranteed in the Constitution. You cannot go back now, go suppress those freedoms in this 1991, or even the one before that, by an act done in 1965 in under a different Constitution. So could it possibly be that then they only used the 1965 Public Order Act when it they at the interest of the current or sitting government? Can I say? Let, let, talk, let talk something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come in, sir. As far as me, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of things in the, that the Public Order Act where therefore don't amend where applicable, but if I don't come under succeeding legislation, thank you for purposes of public order. However, for the history of the act, the, like, the statute itself, it was designed as a political tool to suppress opposition. Yeah. Uh, the government, they use them for suppress people them, not for revolt. One, 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 one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No call colonial government. And then, Why no call Albert Magai then? Albert Magai. <laughs> that's, 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 when, that's when it was enacted. And it was not the colonial government. The and colonial government gave us 1961. <laughs> and Albert Magai and Madame Macaulay gave us 1965. Now, come and, 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 <laughs> and talk about what you understand from my own perspective. I mean, I think, say, we we'll try to give um, different perspectives to, to what, you, what you understand to the subject. Now, as, what I mean start for talk, I say, between 1961 and 1971, now the Queen of England and her head of state, I mean, are they talk like a lawyer? I'm going to talk like a politician. No, but people have. Even as a lawyer. Are they talk like a lawyer? Not to talk. Are they talk right now like a politician? Yeah, but he was. Are they not political? I get. I get. People. The people have. The Queen of England was speaker of head. And I, if, even if you are a lawyer, you, you know that. Ceremonial head, yeah. Yeah, ceremonial head. That's what he was. Mm -hmm. Okay. The actual government of Salon was run by the Prime Minister, then the then governor, governor there, representing the Queen and the Queen for whatever, but really, the actual, after 61, it was Sierra Leone. So what they did after 61 was not because the Queen wanted it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can come in now. Yeah, come on in. Mr. Wesley, okay. you don't pay shit to be um, so old. <laughs> you know, 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 you you know, 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 Expression or any constitution we get them or any law we get them or not get them, the right way God give us it. The right way God says it, give mortal man them. Forget about the fact that Sierra Leone get a constitution we say people get right to freedom to express themselves within the law, within the ambit of the law. If I go quote for you, 
na the Bible, sorry, na the Quran, where Christ born, they say the first commandment to God here na for na for let talk. Christ talk, Christ talk to the people when they did, when they did near him. As a baby, he spoke. Hmm. If you come to um, the Prophet Muhammad, okay. where they ready for giving the message, we think God tell them now that talk, read. Hmm. So this is the right way, giving people a way to um, understand their religious books. Them. They know say, from where God created the world, what he created, he created not a man. Allow you to express yourself because now mother man are the only living thing where God be that um, 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 opportunity or that quality where we think on your own and do things them and make create other creation them on your own. Come to Sierra Leone. For me, it's, it's not about the law. It's about the leader. We don't get president. That lit Yankaba. We don't get um, President Kuruma. Now we don't get President Bio. How them first two people them, or them first um, two, the previous one them, how they behave? Even when this law been there, we see them. Who say they don't use that public order act too much? You understand? For go against political opponents. We didn't do. Because they understand, say, there is this thing in the constitution we then call freedom of expression. So for me, it's not about the law, not about the leader, which he ready for accept and understand and do when he not say he they can practice a democracy. If take um, um, Dr. Blyden in case, if a person from one accord you don't get a bail, he will tell somebody say, hey. Let me hold me and put me in a jail. You for all and for that kind of thing, they oh, you don't talk about the case. You know, for me, that means you tell the person, say, don't say anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything anymore. I don't make the fact that the first place I make it be a stiff bail. Say, let go, then not talk about the case. We don't take in human rights. We don't take away in human rights away from us. And a violation of the right. Mm -hmm. So, right now, not to. Dr. Blind, you know, anybody who is seen as they really violate right, now the people will really owe you that they violate right. Because mm -hmm. when you talk, nobody will take gun shoot and kill person. When you talk, just be sad. It's a trial with them, um, um, lawyer trial with the mention that one. When you talk, what's not take um, um, petrol, go burn house. So you talk not create any danger for society. In fact, you make let the layman understand that one. You talk not create any danger for society. So how do you hold the person? Say this person, because we talk about waiting in free for talk about, ma put on a jail. I think say it's sad that we get the law then in our book. But for me, Kadija, it's not about the law. It's about the leadership. Great one, great one, great one. Because um, they say when you know better, you do better. So I can also I say I concur. Because if you try for promote national cohesion and you try for promote a healthy um, atmosphere for all Sierra Leonean, then if even yeah. we colonial masters they don't put on that way, that you can do better because you want a better Sierra Leone. I strongly yeah. agree. No, the, no, can the, you, I don't yes. the colonial masters they put on that way. This law, the law with Sir Albert, oh, okay. my guy, passed. I see. Nineteen sixty-five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For stifle, for even for stifle okay. the opposition. I see. You know, like I always say, like I always say, bad leader, bad leader, no more. <laughs> you know, yeah. bad leader, bad leader, just bad. So for me, then I will look, I will look well. Wow. Of course. Of course. So for me, it's not about the law. It's about the leadership. Love that. You know? Well stated. If you get the best law, I've been listening to um, um like Ibrahim Suri the discussion on this. I want another program. If you can get the best law at this world, mm -hmm. but if you don't get good leader, trust me, they go around them and violate the good rights. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, so the leader of the forces there. The leader, the, the, the lawyer there not salute, not to allow that. Mm -hmm. that that weak American lawyer 
if you get me and me so yes that our and what cover we go na salo they allow the law grab o change una law e for na we no go slow na dey come dey dey take advantage some people them because of some a case 1800 law where they split down in 1965 but na don't get five constitution them we no we no out we no supersede we we no na self admitted they are they are superior law but una allow them for still be una allow Forty four hours for still be the the, the, the way they come. <clears throat> we we go fight up. You cannot you cannot go come only for 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 crime where I not commit. You go put ten million bail for me. Wait, this say maybe you know even know where that one. But just because you want put me in a jail, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. So the question. The salon system. The salon system is rotting, but rotting from from everywhere because they make one with impunity. Why do you make bail as as a restriction on the person's individual liberty when you don't know if you kill yourself or you not kill? Yeah. But for us, I'm into not doing anything. I they let you let go out, but you know for talk. And this woman talk, you know what they can make less. But that's wrong. And you the lawyers in that country, you be as self of you yourself. You are no longer make that a petition to a parliament, to a president, to a bad system to say that's wrong. If we allow Ali or Scale and me and the people that are there now, no one will not allow. Believe me, we will set, we will, we will set some rules about that. Okay, we can try to make a defense, make a defense. Honorable Ibrahim, sorry, sorry, my defense, Ibrahim, sorry. Which one? Ibrahim, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 We don't class the Una Sierra Leone practice where they practice on a very very timid condition. Yeah. Because now what thing happen in Sierra Leone is that when you talk the people are talking with the Ambon government in work for 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 do what they feel for do in the life by you. And where the life by the state are able to do to step. They they at the time come they don't feel us. So But you know what for what they do right now for who who chat with them because it go easy for them to just put people by you say this time we just rally on do they send in a jail force you know you go refer to your head before they fed for other people there now the same thing happen with Dr Sylvia Blade now the same thing happen with the honorable the way they no invite even even to the law we be the represent of um and Blade we be the represent all the country they no invite them several times now say you just for who do So you know what I want to agree with Mr. Where say on that because um I don't say that so many time that this um platform wherein some of the Sierra Leoneans them then get or the lawyers them or whichever capacity they hold in terms of um their job then get then go, some of them go get good interest they want speak up but if they speak up there's consequences where they follow unfortunately the other question why we're asking as lawyer um usually like where they can come out then can say okay if they give them bail condition they go say okay what thing they go inside that court day you know for discuss but the thing where miss silvia in, in, in your example where it discuss on social media um it has nothing to do with the specific of what thing they go on so was that enough um for now them send them back said and deny in bail you want me to ask that yes sir you that can. was not that was not enough yes and guess what i do understand there are times there are some proceedings uh secret proceedings that are not public uh-huh. even in this country where i practice okay if you do not they fight a court that the intelligence court that this country that proceeding they really Now, secret, secret, because it's not secret information. Okay. Yeah. Now, there are some other proceedings. Well, really, even in daily everyday talk, yeah. adoption matters are usually confidential. That not the thing we go talk about. Yeah. There are some things where the court, depending on the nature of the case, they can put a gag order okay. to prevent the the participant, who is the lawyer, and the party. Not for talk about the case, okay? Yeah. But you cannot have a, 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 a judge saying you cannot talk at all to our social media. 
Yeah. I'm not talking about the kids. Yes. I'm talking about I'm out. Right. Now I want you all to come help me because I'm not guilty. That's not to talking about the kids. Right. And for allow for a system for allow a judge for do that with impunity or with like God kill. We know where God, God kill like this and we all know who the cap who the set up. Now truly uh uh Mr. David and, and uh uh counselor. Not so you personally, I'll be the, I'll be the, I'll be the, I'll be the, we didn't call up, say, maybe now, now, we didn't call. Now, the system owner, they operate under nine, really, I'll be the, yeah. okay, not to you, not to you personally, not to you, not to you, I'll be the, I understand the restraint that you have, and I know, I, I can imagine what you're doing. So, no, you know, we, we will disagree on whether the public or the act is between doing or not, but my guy, do it, I know you disagree, I'm truthful about that. But the system owner, they operate on that, that low, it really handcuffed now. And mm -hmm. what you all need to do is one, for some lawyers will have to suffer. People need to lead a revolt against the archaic system when I get. The judges are wrong. You cannot have on 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 special discretion over whether to give bail or not. That's wrong. You give bail on certain principles then. But when I when I salon judge the magistrate, then they, they give bail whether they want to or not. And I write six again now, like nine, you can cooperate on that. So I understand your own frustration. And your clients, the, 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 how do they call them? But it's wrong. You cannot give anybody absolute unfettered discretion. So come back in, Mr. Ibrahim. Sorry, you won't take on that, please. Now you educate to you on how proceeding can go back home because like how honorable lawyers say you know no much um you can only speak much more in detail with the american Union. come back in sir i, I want to talk about two three things there first before i go into that first of all mm -hmm. i come into the program and then they see myself in the program that's fundamental secondly i don't see myself at all secondly i think that this is a debate as the site will say each and every participant for able for express himself and then other person can come in and and contradict where it, it thinks they mm -hmm. you know agree or disagree. But for stifle and not for talk, I mean you know that's a debate that one. Um the 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 fact that I know they see myself, it's like I'm off screen, I'm not there, but I I continue for talk because I don't commit myself or continue. One um, you. One you. Okay, so what I want to tell you, Mr. Sorry, the platform now like it's now obviously a TV setting, so you're not going to see yourself. I don't know why uh, why is that, but we they see you very well, and the viewers then also they see you as you they speak. The 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 practice of law is completely different. I've been mid on the I, I get colleagues that want to work with in the United States. Plenty. So I'm, I'm very familiar with the operations of law and practice in the United States. And I also I they, I they, I they interact every day with professors of, of law in the United States, even where they are soon. So I, I'm not oblivious of the fact that uh, the system is different. And also what I want to talk, uh, Mr. Tarawali, the fact that the system in the United States is completely different from the system in, in, in Sierra Leone. The United States now got a civil system we're given the right and liberties for what you want to do as it's well. But what we get in a common law system, we mean say, I mean, the parties then get the right for do what they for inconsistent with the law also. But hey, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Continue, sir. No, hold on, hold on. I'm talking like I just want to continue, please. I continue. You can come back and continue. Okay, go ahead. You know, a, a lot of things then they way a lot of people can assume say they understand what they don't understand. You know, the fact that um lawyers are trained in the United States does not make necessarily make them experts over Sierra lawyers who are trained. Oh, no, 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 we are experts, believe me. We we right. know. We bump the inspiration, and that will be all the day. Don't tell me that that I wouldn't take. No, believe me, as a U.S. training lawyer, I'm born with inspiration. Is, I know there is no evidence for support. Say a, tra a U.S. training lawyer is better than a 
Okay, no, I know one. I know one. I know things say it. Um, Mr. Sorry, and I give me one second. I know things say. I know things say it once say the word say it better than, but basically, certain things say way. Mr. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, check you you audio, check your audio quick, Mr. Sorry. When are they you? Check the audio bar. Press the the red line, yeah. Okay, good. Would they you, sir? Yeah, I think say what have been the try for say. I don't believe say that. Yeah, guy. I think that Mr. Terrell know exactly what he talk. I don't defend him. He said that is the position because he's trained here, so he's 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 in that category. I don't take that name from him. What are they talking about? As far as me concerned. We get different training. And some of we don't train that I don't train that three other countries. Three other Western countries, you know, including the United States. So I'm only for talk and I also. But basically, what you are the try for talk? What you are the try for talk that are the systems are completely different. In the United States, I can fight paper anything and challenge the president of the United States. In Sierra Leone, the president is able for challenge them for anything where they do. So it's completely Why? different. All right? Why? Now, Why? Why somebody that we say. Why, why, why? Why, why? No, why? Why, why not? Why? Because it's part of the law, which is which you don't understand. No, it's not the law. It's part of the law, which you don't understand. No, it's not the law. It is the law which you don't understand. I think you get the right for reply. This is not about you and I, Mr. Trawali, please. This is for the public. Let us tell the public what we know, and then the public will judge us. I just asked you a question. No, we are done if he asks. We are done, sir. We are done if he asks, and then we can continue for clarify. But let me take my bike. You are spoken. I didn't even utter a word. I don't do that because that's not how I'm trained. I'm trained to listen and respect colleagues when they talk so that I can I can learn from them. And that's what I've been doing, to learn from you. All right? But for make somebody sit on a television and cry down a professional colleague from somewhere else, it doesn't it doesn't actually you know, make, uh, I mean, support the idea of being being part of the process. What do we understand now that, I mean, this this whole argument now, they take the, the discussion out of point, but I'll come back to it. What are they trying to talk now that? When we talk about laws and how to implement or enforce laws, the way they do in the United States, when, as far as me understand now, is completely different from how they do in a salon. All right? So, in the United States, one simple lawyer came for take me and lobby a, a Congress and get an amendment overnight and get it, get it passed into law and then forget about it. In Sierra Leone, it's not possible. And that is what people should appreciate. You know, rather than crying down, people where they, 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 they suffer, we don't know what's in the what, we don't know what's in the suffer. Me and one person, we don't challenge government on several levels, Mr. Yamarese can confirm that. <coughs> On several levels, including my own government. But I don't tell other people that they don't know what they are doing. I, I, I'll come there and ask and at least see what we are doing. But that is taking the, the discussion out of context. Let us come back to the, the freedom, the freedoms and the liberties that we have in law. I don't say the, the right there all day. The constitution gives you with one hand, it takes out with the other hand. But politically, when they use them, when they use political positions, but basically suppress liberties of individuals in the country. And that, that is expanding it to a political argument. If it turns into a political argument, then you go talk about politics. But as I say, this is not what I say. I say, as a lawyer, let's add, I try to argue as a lawyer in the sense that that is what the law is. And until the law is changed, it is what it is. You know, the inability of people are not for able for change. You know, not no not being say they're not one for change. But we lost them very old, the public order act very old, and the police they know say you know enough consistent with the constitution and the powers of the powers of government, people always don't at them position and they know say in order to support uh, 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 in order to, in order to support the spirit of the constitution, but they continue to use it anyway. And at the same thing, you go to court, that is the law. The law is the law. You don't have anything to do until they amend them.
how do you amend it? You go to parliament and ask them to do the needful. But what is parliament doing? If it's not like a country where polit po they use politics rather than the law for change members of parliament, then you know you have a problem. That will never happen in the United States, where overnight they go put 10 members of parliament of a particular political party just so that they have minority, when in fact the, 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 the results where the National Electoral Commission announced was that that political, political party was, ha, has won the majority in parliament. So when those things happen, you don't just say, oh, you don't want to do it, we will come and fix it for you. That's the that challenge is that they are bigger than, than what, what you, you, you imagine. Mm -hmm. So we, as Sierra Leoneans, will come together and find solution. How for me could country good? Rather than telling, pointing fingers, oh, you don't know, do nothing, I will come fix up for you. That's what I want to say. Honorable lawyer, come back in, sir. Mr. Sorry, come yeah. back in, sir. Yeah. But I, I hope you don't mind. I, I'm running low on, on the battery on my... Can you see me? Yes, can sir. You yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I did run low on the battery, so I'm trying to play between. I will, tell you, I will, put, I will talk from speakerphone, but uh, uh, my learned brother, uh, Shuri, Ibrahim Shuri, right? I'm very sorry if he thinks they I mean, they tell you say you or even lawyer like you now. Now, you, you the lawyer, I know, I don't know. I'm very sure if that's how it sounded like. You are all very good lawyers. Uh, you are the best of your generation. We all know we are the best of our generation at one time or the other. You are very smart. I do not take that away from you. Now, the only thing why I will talk is by the nature of the complexities of the world and law and order, the U.S. is the most litigious country in the world. And you know what? Any lawyer who they practice in this system, yeah, and I mean a real practicing lawyer, he can usually be a much better practitioner. Because we don't see at all. Any how we talk now, we don't see at Okay? So now the only thing that they both know, you are a very good lawyer. Now, you are all practicing under a constraint. Okay? And we understand that, and that would tell me, I say, some of the constraints will not get down, you will not repeat that. If we not allow a person like me and Waskale for good day, you will see how we will sue the president and what you will do with that. We may not win, but maybe the hour that is here will be going, that will join we, that will make way we win. But we not in our system, we say, you cannot do anything to the president. Well, we think say you can do something to the president, but we know they did. So not to say na no na 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 no na no no. You are constrained because these are things that you've never seen, you've never done. You don't get any idea of doing it. Things say the law and the be all and end all. Even the thing about lobbying uh, uh, parliament or congress, no no one lawyer can do that anyway. If anybody tells you they can do it, no. You know, lobbying with congress takes 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 more than even just a lawyer. It takes a whole lot plus the money too. Okay, and I'm sure it's the same thing at your place. Okay, so, but all of this could be changed. I'm not trying to put you down. So if not that one put you on log ahead, no. The thing when me, they, me they deny you, now, now on substantive fact, the public order act, that now, we own creation, not a colonial creation, down in our wooden form. The present thing they want to go, the bad bail law, then. how on a judge that they use the bail as a way for for, for coerce uh, a, a defendant to agree or not to agree, that's a bad law. Probably, we don't know anywhere for do that. And I'm not saying, I'm not blaming for that, but guess which is, maybe if we allow some other people, them the other side, who, who don't practice other places, they could do that. Then go, then go give you idea where you go use, where you go able for combat this bad sign on a law. There are many things rotting in your system. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about you. You're a very good lawyer. If you ever think that like, you are feeling, oh, 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 you probably have, have a better brain than I do. So, so it's not you I'm talking about. I'm talking about the system you have. It's rotting. It needs correction. It needs, it needs everything they can get from the outside. 
and don't get offended for say if somebody from the outside tell us say when I see them bad, I can help them. How can say they feel say that we are not savvy? No, you know they they can see and they can help you. That's what that's what we say, and that's what some of us why we came in and practice law at some of these other places here. Yeah. I'm not talking about. I go to one country, I go there two years, I feel the same as I the system. No, I'm talking about having practice in this US system for 40 years. I know what, what the system done. Okay? Now, I don't know what's in the Nasaluna, I think I've been able to tell you. Even the Lord has alone, now what he will tell you, that I will make. So I don't even challenge you on that. Now, the only thing I will challenge you is when you come to institutional system like that, I will tell you, say, well, this is wrong. When I can do it better, you cannot have a judge get unfettered discretion on pain. That's a bad thing. It's oppressive. Now that makes you see people. Then they put people in a jail. When a jail, yeah, they be full up because anything the judge don't will put you there. Police might say don't put you in a jail. Then they full up. Now that call me the talk was not to you. Not to you have a challenge. No, so don't feel offended and. And guess what? If we be then at the same side, when all of this is over, we'll go get we'll go, we'll go drink over the bar and then we'll talk and then you know say not to not to not to put in an insult. No, believe me. Make one or two clarification. Okay. Now make one or two clarification. I know say Mr. Wari say they carry. First of all, I know I disagree a hundred percent that uh, the the nineteen sixty-five um, public order act was not under colonial rule. I disagree. I will tell you emphatically that the 1965 legislation was enacted while Sierra Leone was still under British rule. We only come completely or become a republic in 1971. By 1965, the head of state of the Republic of Sierra Leone was the Queen of England represented by, by the, 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 the Governor General. And at the tell you that the Governor General was in Sierra Leone. So, and it, it will rule from Sierra Leone in, in all the other uh, British uh, uh, colonies at the time that West Africa. So uh, that is my position, and I think that is the fact, and that's the law. Secondly, I mean, me as Sierra Leonean trained lawyer, but I say I, I also run train in different countries, including the United States. But me, this is not a, a forum for me, I can't begin to tell you about me. Sir. Nobody, no single jurisdiction, they allow professionals train outside their jurisdiction for come and practice in their jurisdiction. Every country gets a system where a, each profession, including engineering, accounting, law, etc., etc. So if you have a practice that sell you, you go, if you, there is an act, you follow the act, you go and practice there, nobody will stop me. If I want to practice what, in the United what, States what, now, what, 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 that's the reason why practice in the what, United States reason. now, they will not allow me because it is no. not because I'm not qualified, but because they get their own system up on one. But that is again taking the argument out of context. That is taking what? the argument out of this is not about practicing of law. We can't exactly. have we talk no come on day. No we can't discuss no, 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 about no, 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 expression no, 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 of uh, freedom of expression and association. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. When you know. he had a type of mention mm -hmm. that the public order act, as far as I'm concerned, the public order act is a political tool. It's a political tool where successive administration they don't use them against people them where they think say they for use them again. And it is very, very bad. It is very bad, and as a country, we have to look at it. This particular government then campaign on the platform for reform the public order act. But they have not done that. In fact, as I as I speak two days ago, the parliament not to wait, the, the, the draft told and can't go to parliament for amenda. Right? And that, that particular part there, Naim Pomikam for address this issue of freedom of expression and freedom of the press. But the parliament to where? Nobody no know what it happened, what it not happen. The Ministry of, Fact, of Information published a letter or a public notice for inform the public say then they come back with the draft. We don't know what's happened. But essentially, the, the, the important thing about this debate for me now that what did the law provide for Sierra Leoneans then? Is it adequate? It provides a security rights as Sierra Leoneans where people express themselves. The majority of people they only talk today in a social media or 
or international mainstream media, then they talk because they are outside Sierra Leone. Most people with their voice who often talk about what is happening, they can't do it because they are in Sierra Leone. What if they happen? You talk, if they're not going to attack you at your house, burn and dumb, or beat you, or beat you man, or beat you picking them, then we wait for you publicly and do, they do something to you for harm you. Or they, they embarrass you with litigation. They arrest you, go lock you up, you know, and make all kinds of top charges against you. And the system is such that when the state allege against you, if you like say na, na, na some kind declaration of war, every other person they, they, they come off near you, including your friends, if you are not careful. Because now the state they bring and come. So that is why a legislation like the public, uh, uh, the public order act, we for completely, completely wash them away. Completely wash them away and bring new legislation. Completely. As I say, as time just now I say, you get fine, fine provisions there, you know, for public order. But important thing in the day where the law not address, the constitution not address, you know, it just left unto interpretation. The interpretation say, if you're not consistent with the constitution, you void. And now and then, even lawyers, they are confused with it. They are confused by that. And that, 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 that small confusion day, that any politician in the news, perfects against the civilian population, which is very, very unfortunate. Because as far as me know, if they elect you, that the people that elect you, that they for some, you don't use the position of the law against the people. It is used them for the people. It used the law, use the position for benefit the people, not against the people. So for me, moving forward, I think say that any kind of discussion in the and Sierra Leoneans before they get and try for engage the leadership for see how we can move forward. Thank you, sir. Uh, we lost one of we other panelists. Unfortunately in Batsky go down. Um, he sent me a message. Um, hopefully go come back but I just want to make the audience say no. Honorable um, lawyer, I want to come back in, and um, in terms of you, the time where you've been they serve before you retired, you don't ever get a situation wherein you been get forget a case on this freedom of speech. Well, not to not to not to the freedom of speech like like New York Times versus Oliver. Yeah. We're not the one of the big freedom of expression speech they not this country, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only them kind of case they did. Okay. But even as a, a law clerk, you know, part of my background, I work with the Supreme Court and the state here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the freedom of expression or of anything of belief case will be getting a Jehovah witness to them, we can take blood transmission or not. Yeah. So then they've been there and with chambers that said they will be there for for do that opinion there on the matter where the Jehovah lady no one blood transfusion because in the religion no allowance to let take transfusion. Yeah. So so the team will get all the mix up of freedom of belief, freedom of religion, freedom of whatever. Yeah. So yes, I did a case like that at that level day. Now they are there was a time when I represented a child mm -hmm. na, 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 na coach with a driver and go something we do na school. Now I prank anyway. We talk say it wasn't a, a dangerous prank. I talk say I say go na freedom of expression. The child too smart wouldn't call. Yeah. So I argue. I, I dealt with that kind of case. So so yes, uh, I have dealt personally. Have I read them? Yes, I have read them quite a bit, and that's the reason why we be say not to not to want them a come, not to just come can't tell a do and or can't they want six months one year and what they call. Mm -hmm. I practice my system. Musa be say na ya de tia de de bonde. Believe me, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. I, I have some experience. What's your question? Then? So in the case, to... yeah, in the case of the woman where um. In terms of in Jehovah Witness um, religion, they, they may able for I call um, yeah, which no, is we, 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 we uphold the right to refuse the treatment. Okay. 
they're going to be based on in, 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 in well-founded religious belief. Okay. And believe me, you know, when people like, when people like in the teenager, the reason why, when, when we sit on financial are you see argument them upon argument them, yes. philosophical abstract, where they call not the they vex for. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yeah, you know, uh, the law, when I think they put tread on each other's too. Or yeah. something people get upset about. Okay? Right. Right. Believe me, the lady, me judge now in the opinion which, which uh, well, as a law clerk, I know we talk too much about that, but, you know, we know we know what we do. Right. We may uphold the, the lady's right, but let refuse the treatment, and I think there were, there, it, it was a nine, it was a six-three opinion. Three judges then disagree, and then write their own opinion, then we argue and we then call. So, it was a good vigorous debate. Okay. I wonder whether they have that in Sierra Leone. Okay. Yeah, I wonder whether they have that. Because they've done some wrong in that country. Mm. Sam Sumana case was a bad, bad, bad decision. Mm. Okay? But it was done. So, and, and, and right now, then they do all this case that but two days ago, I write and I wrote an, an article mm-hmm. where I said the judge and the prosecutor uh, Paolo in case they are, they they talking stupid. Mm-hmm. They talking stupid because they were saying things which don't even make sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, of course I know they practice. They were having the practice. They, believe me, maybe in that point they now go just stop the trial court and get an interlocutory appeal, go to the Supreme Court for decide this question now. Because if you decide this question, it at Supreme Court, the case over. It costs everybody expenses. Then go let eleven and totally let it done. We know this is done with let let Supreme Court make let let the judge make nonsense. You know, mm-hmm. like this like this judge like this judge here now, Judge Bonnie, the bail, huh? Let then for don't take and go uh, I call in in in, in, in what they call. If they lost, they keep on losing, losing, losing. And you know what? If good lawyer then get into the case by itself, remember, a long go day before at was court. They're not going to even know because the good lawyer then would go, go shape that argument day, waiting, myself now, no way, no way, you know. But good lawyer then, we get experience from other side then. Okay? Mm-hmm. Who not they ask to come practice that's alone? Who they, who just they ask, who not allow the other people to come, for they can help, who not, for see, so they see how they happen, for help, who not, how to maneuver around the things that they happen. And that's what I, I didn't have to practice in sit down. I, I've done very well in this country. In fact, I did very well. That's how I even support some of my causes in Freetown. You know, I, I don't need to, I don't need to alone practice. Mm-hmm. I didn't want, I, you know, I, I'm for let all practice for help them who, for hell, I didn't come here. We need outsiders. The inbreeding in a small country like that, probably about what, 3,000 lawyers, and being harassed by government, they're harassing them. I feel sorry for them. They are, they, are, they are not being allowed to, to develop the legal system that it should be, it should be developed. Mm-hmm. That's all we talk about. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now I'll come back with Mr. Um, Ibrahim Sori. What in your take in the case of um, Miss um, Sylvia and then Mr. Paolo as well? Before we call and quit, I'm not going on in too long. Now don't try. Oh, well, thank you. Um, uh, it it, 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 go, it, go, it go be fair for give background before you you give your opinion on whether it go well or did it go well and then kind thing then did. I mean I'm not sure. in a saloon yeah. when I arrest either of them. So I, I they only talk on the basis of um, what they understand from the colleague they already represent them. You know because they are both represented by uh, our team basically being a part of that team they already represent them. And Dr. C, the blind one, and I've been personally with my clients for, for a very long time. So um, I understand how they practice in journalism. I also understand um, um, major retired Paolo Conte in your position. Now, the fact they're simple, but then completely different. I think major, major, major retired Paolo Conte in your position uh, that, that Ikego, the allegation was that Ikego gone. Now state her. Mm-hmm. 
So you go up and ask a question, what's he going to do straight out? Mm. The Japan will come and I'll be the CEO of the, of the government institution will be fed against Ebola. So you get a lot of experience for dealing with emergency situations and contagious diseases, even though it's a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. But you get experience on for control crowds or control people then and, and, and in the midst of, you know, a pandemic or, or epidemic. So now that basically the president will invite them uh, and several other people then come here and go um, in the state house and see them talk about how the way forward. And I will tell you, say that was the first time after they, they lost power because he was also a minister of government. And the first time they were good. You know? Now I mean I mean that the first time after that call, that the first time he good. But the day they arrest him, uh, uh, the, the incident, the day the incident occurred at the second visit. So um the state they alleged say he will escape with gone for go up. But the 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 what do we get from the other side now that from in now now that he go because he gets a staff uh, pistol for, for self-defense where he license, he get license for him, he write out all the time. He left him to car and they wash him, he take the gun out. He go to state securities, he give them the bag. This is my bag. I don't want to leave it inside there because if boys are washing my car, I don't want something to go happen and go take the car. They, they go take this bag, see in a morning day and then go there and then something happen. Mm -hmm. Then for that one are responsible. So he go left and to security. Mm -hmm. Now the evidence when they leave, what is security they leave now court now that he will escape with the bag. He, even though they say he left the bag in a court, I mean a security post, but the evidence the evidence they should say, the, the witness they should say he tried for he tried for 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 escape the security check. I mean I don't know how that they happen, but not only them they leave. For Dr. Sylvia Blyden, Dr. Sylvia Blyden don't get issues with the state for a long time. Just like a Mr. Paolo Conte. They don't invite some plenty, plenty time over something then they don't go investigate the left hand. They don't investigate the left hand. But after the Padamba Road incident, we make a lot of people left. Talk, 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 but quickly. And after we, the coronavirus, because Dr. Blyden, not a, not a trained journalist, not a journalist he trained by, he's a trained medical doctor. And then there are plenty of people you don't know. Now, medical doctor. That doctor will get into academic doctor and a medical doctor. But he don't, he don't practice journalism for a long time. And I think, say, he don't get training along the side as well. So, and one of the most respected journalists that they tell you in that, that country. Very good investigative journalism. I listened to one particular interview of him where if they really, really hold government to, to for, for, for treats this coronavirus very seriously and they reveal names of people them where they undermine the system and i think say me my own view that particular interview day mm -hmm. was one of those interviews where the system not been they not been fixed comfortably yes because she was revealing a lot of things the way they're not been fixed a private person for getting kind of thing they do and if they talk say you get more so when this pet come when this uh, padamba road incident come up and she was talking about it me, I read several audios of senior members of the ruling government when they talk, say, Dr. Sia Blade, they for arrest her, they for arrest her, they for arrest her, because they post this, they post this, they post that, they incite people by posting on Facebook. So basically, in your side, there are Facebook posting. You know? So in Facebook, in social media posting, I India, this problem. And we don't think, say, social media posting, where they talk about things that way to go wrong. Nothing that they done way for whole poor people. I mean, the constitution says you get right for express yourself and hold your opinion. If you think say what they're talking about social media is not correct, now you position as government for put the correct information. That is all. Mm -hmm. You discredit them if you think say what they talk is wrong. But to go arrest and say because of what they talk, now you cite his statement and it's not correct. But this is how we are going as a nation. And as I know, say they get bail, and the bail, then we draw the bail on the basis that it also reply to the to the the, the director of the IMF, where he make a statement on on Twitter, 
when he say he don't he said you forget one hundred and thirty. He called the president about one hundred and forty three million dollars when they go to the government of Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. and then he replied, say okay, you they call the president of Sierra Leone. You know, say this same president and government don't hold me for twenty three days illegally. You know that day you ask about that, just that. Now on that basis, they now they hold him back. Say, um, they don't breach a bail condition. A bail condition will say they not for comment on the case. Is that a commentary on the case? <laughs> but would I not understand? Go say who says a lot lawyer they make. But this is the system that we operate in. Something like that not for make the whole you at all. That's fair. Now different person they talk to. You say you talk to the president. You know, say me now, woman, are they are? And I ask them to be president, they hold me for 23 days. You know that day you talk to her about that. Now they hold on for. Bad. Any civilized society, you go talk. If 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 the United States, that nothing they happen, a big problem. Yeah. A big issue. But this is the country we are in. Dr. Dr. Uh, um, Mr. Paolo Conte, if you don't be called and they, you know, they're not business for good. Mm -hmm. Mr. Paolo Conte was former Minister of Defense, you know, get security. Mm -hmm. He defended himself. He likes him gone, long, long term. That the gun they use. He did renew the license as, as, as per law required. Now, he got declared this gun. They go home and say, this gun here, he, he won't use that for, 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 for King President. This is 2020. 2020, sorry. This 2020, nobody made they think about overthrow government. What do go overthrow government? Africa Union don't ban anything they did. Nobody made they, made, they, made, they, made they think about how one man they go overthrow government. How one man? Okay, sometimes you go say yes, it's a possibility. But one man no go enter state house. We get over 100 military officers. 100 military, well armed officers. He said they go shoot God. For king president of overthrow government. Hmm. But that is the allegation of the state. And make it always say we respect the state. For what is for what is its worth? But let the man get fear trial. Sad. Get fear trial in the court, and then we'll see what will happen. Somebody will comment just now about what will happen in the court. We are not in the court. We need this the basically. I know the judge, I know the lawyers they involved. And they tell you, say, Mr. Paolo Conte get very, very, very strong defense team. F two former attorneys general that they represent him. Like First of all, the judge say, the man don't forget past two lawyers. I not ever see that day. There is no law supporting mm -hmm. that position. Strict support. No. No law. But that is what is happening. Hmm. They make application, say, we want for... If you say this man, I say you do, he will try to escape security checks. Now we see again the CCTV camera for showing whether this man, in fact, he declared the gun or he not declare or he tried to escape. It's so, so simple. Mm -hmm. That's in the trial close. Straight. Yes. What do you defend what I get for do? Now for just say, it may, it may plead investigation for him. Mm -hmm. Or a race defense if you get it. But if the man says, you say, me, Paulo Conte, I not try for evade check. Now me call the bag I give security. In fact, what it transpired, even according to the witness, he left the, the bag, he go up the meeting. He go now the meeting now he done there over 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Before they go call and say for account. Man we try for escape with gun. If they left and let go to president, it not just make sense. At all. At all. You know. But that is what the state's case is. We get for respect that for that for that. Mm. You know, all what you they ask for for me that be the man, fair trial. You know, but if the prosecutor, the person where they prosecute the man, first of all, he not qualify for practice that salary. Is there a fair trial? Did they expect fair trial then? Mm. That is in fact we are the biggest question that you are there. The man we sit down for prosecute, not get no right for practice. Wow. He not get no right for practice, not qualified for practice. Hmm. And this, this is the country we are. 
And this man is Sierra Leonean. Yes, now Sierra Leonean. But oh. he came up from England. He said qualify for, from England. He don't apply. For me to admit on a salo, they say he don't qualify. He don't apply to them. Hey. How do you expect the state, how do you expect lawyers hmm. for feel comfortable for practicing the Rakai system? These are the challenges you all get as a nation, as professionals in that country. You need allies. As well, you need allies. You don't much for say, <laughs> and we don't go out for prejudice, the case of or against the, the accused persons. We already put you, they say, that, that they wish that the state will provide the opportunity to make them for defend themselves because we know, say, the people that only defend them, they are very, very good and they're capable for do that. But what you don't see from the start, they don't begin to give disadvantage. Then they push you in a corner, tell you so, do you this, till you're not qualified, because you're not qualified, they go snap in a corner. All of those things, you know, already don't make you brain don't begin mix up. Say, who say who they go so? You know, those are the challenges you so get. Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Sorry. Yes, um, lawyer, sorry, lawyer, lawyer, Tarly, come, come back in. I know they want to say something. On the same word, I call up on this one. All what you talk so now, now all the glaring things you all don't see, all what they try, look, they have very good, uh, the defense team is very good. Really, even the lawyers are good. It's the system that is rotting. Mm. Now, the only thing we will tell them as Salon is they need allies for evidence for clean up the system. The kingdom of Denmark is rotting. Mm. Now, that makes them get them to they have to show for me. Then, uh, Geru, if you are not admitted to, to the high court, you cannot practice before the high court. Okay? Adrian Fisher, he go law school, I understand. They even work as a magistrate in a salon, in a police magistrate court. Well, we know say the magistrate system in a salon, you don't have to be a lawyer admitted to the high court to practice there before the magistrate. And I make police manager can be prosecuted on a magistrate court. But to be in the high court, to be to practice before the high court, you have to be admitted as a as a whatever they call it, whether a lawyer, barrister, or solicitor, whatever. In the high court, this young man is not. Hmm. To, but today, he is the one trying this case for the government. Hmm. Well, now then they say, well, they go under the umbrella of the attorney general, who is also a very competent and qualified person. But all of there are many things wrong. The system is wrong. Hmm. Yeah, like the two way they tell you so, the evidence where they say they know, they know, they know they are allowed. Huh? To real system there and any sign at the wall, and I think that we can bring a human right abuse against a system. For let for let you try somebody on charges that the person the charges are false. You get the evidence. Yes. We can prove the person say what you in the talk nine two. You say no, you cannot bring it. That's a bad system that that infringe on the human right of a person. Absolutely. So if then things are not, not only. Uh, 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 na straight forward case, they get them go na Edward Scott. That that them for only with Salon, the Salon government. Huh? Look, uh, Sam Sumana goes Edward. He go Edward, really, waiting them go argue na be wrong thing, na be false number no nine, nine Salon government no answer, otherwise, Sam Sumana be for lost out. But if an, an, an Edward, if an, a human right argument, Okay, the case go na Ecuador. Okay, now we get on them tell the application as alone. Huh? We need for Sidon to think how do we go a step further? Because otherwise, guess, guess what? This court here, let's go and say we go there and see how they rule. Then we rule against all them people there. We're going to sue Salon, don't, don't use for you. Hmm. If they do and pass some Sumana, we, we all will learn law. We say, no, there is no way. And as Kuruma can fire a vice president on a this case, make her own. You see how they find they go find something which completely logical noise to make. Now they make because now they be one. 
I don't know. I know they. I know they ever buy. I know they ever join anybody for saying na pay them pay whatever. I may not even collect kind of from them. All which I know is the the the, the, the logic was consulted and wrong law. Okay, mm-hmm. but they do it <laughs> now. They try if anywhere. They wouldn't call up. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to speed down without regarding myself to take this case to the ECOWAS and to get an absolute uh, 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 protest of this judicial. One time in the Chief Justice they get from Bonikana about three, four months ago, they get a program, we get a foreign dignitary car, we they call. You know what it is? Now that's why they the lawyer at the bar of Salome for women a protest for student, for petty, the, the stranger, embarrassing the Chief Justice with the bar get a case pending. Mm-hmm. Now this court up to now, you know, you know, call up now two years ago. Mm. Okay? You cannot do things as normal say you wait for God. God not a common up can help you now. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Believe me, I am not trying to worry about what they need is the alien is more help, more input from where the press already for it do not they. They put pan and that make you see that the government not put too much place into them. Mm-hmm. You lawyers, for me, at the top, directly to the lawyers, you need to get foreign assistance for help now, for give an idea how for do something there. So the thing that we will tell now how for do am, we are not going to we not even learn and school. We don't see them. We don't see how it work. Mm-hmm. So we know that this, if we do am, you will get result. Otherwise, uh, all we can say about uh, Paolo is this, we, we, we are on the same line. And again, uh, Mr. Mion Power, the kind of lie, just apologize to you. Yeah. He thought no, that was so a cool. personal guy, but you know, no, that is personal so- ability to talk about, okay? Yeah. We are all not good people there. Mm-hmm. We are, are dispatched to the yeah. United States. We you appreciate know, But there are many things that you don't know that, uh, that uh, other people with other experiences know that they can help you, mm-hmm. okay? Absolutely. And, you know, the one thing we be said that they are not to take a back. Oh, I, I I was trained and I practiced in the most litigious jurisdiction at the whole wide world. And guess what? I have to I have to naturally say I am a practitioner in that jurisdiction and I've survived. I've done well. You see me, you see me accent. I know it, I know you talk American, but I've done well most years, <laughs> you know, until retirement here. So That's so true. so I must know what I'm saying. But anyway. Well, uh, I think Mr. Thank Mio Bassi so Yes, what they call, what they call it yeah. quits now. I want to take this okay. opportunity for telling a plenty, plenty thank you when I take time out of in a busy schedule for coming, join voice today for now we address issues of relevance. Thank you once again. And I don't know if you now want to say anything. Mr. Soe, Ibrahim Soe, you want to say anything before we left, sir? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, just say, I want first of all, tell people that thank you. Opportunity not been there for I tell you what they think with what you they talk yeah. about what you they talk. Yeah. But I I know say a good number of people in the watch. I mean, most say most they say Yeah. We get a lot of work for do as a nation. Uh, I think say we all get something for contribute. And at the all job is union for contributing you know, small any way we able for contribute to make that country a better country. You know, some of you they out, we they out, not say because we happy one for the house permanently. But I tell you, say, a good number of Sierra Leoneans that all left the country in the last two years. And they feel very unsafe for return. Because the states, they use the power of the state against them. And they threaten to jail some man, you know. And some man not just they feel safe for go back. Hmm. That's a big problem. So as Sierraians, we all for come together. Because you happy say today, my particular government, let deal with Mr. A. Hmm. But not forget say you party not gonna have a government forever. The other man in party self game for come one day. You go one of them deal with yourself the same way they deal with Mr. A. Hmm. Nobody no go under. And nobody no go under on our country permanent. But I tell you from what I, I know, 
that very good number of senior citizens of the Republic of Sierra Leone don't let that country be and they afraid for their lives. They didn't even forgive her. So, in every way or any way, we are able to protect her, we are able to protect her, we are able to make Salon a better place for you all. At the end of the day, not for everybody is a politician. Not for everybody wants to taste the wrath of a politician in our, in our Salon. So, we have contribution, we are not, not inside the politics. And for make sure, say, the one they want they put today, they know, say, Salon big pass their own politics or political interest. Then they fight for unite the country. Our country is divided today. Not to say because people them want to see the country unstable, but not because each time we will get government, there is always this tendency, say, people them were exposed to political power. Then they use their position in the against people them on the other side, the opposition. But who will be small? Will they see say na book some of whom they read them? Will they eat them in Zimagana so they do just like Mr. Sarah will talk? Like I see we not something they do, but we'll not see them. We did school and college under Dr. Aneskoma, Tian Kaba and Aneskoma. We'll not see much of her. What you may see now, it really alarming. So I think it's high time for we all to come together and make the country. We country really not there in good shape. We're not good for we and not good for you to kill them. So I tell everybody, thank you. Thank you very much also for having me. Welcome, Mr. Sorry. Thank you so much. And lawyer um, Charlie, I want to take the opportunity again for say plenty, plenty thank you for in our time. God bless you now all and God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. And I will join with you today and I thank you, Mr. Wayete too. We say you back to done. We did tell him plenty, plenty thank you. Until next time, this is a salon for Voice for Network Television. May God bless you all and God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone and the wonderful United States of America. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome, sir.